Hello, this is Richard Wright again, and welcome to the SkyX preview of At Focus 3. So if you follow the directions on my blog, you know how to enable the secret At Focus 3 button on the Focus tab, uh, Focus Tools tab of the camera add-on. And that brings up the At Focus 3 Control Center. And the first thing we need to do is characterize your focuser. So for now, you need to know your focal ratio, and you need to know the focuser step size. Uh, because the only parameter that At Focus 3 really makes use of is uh, how far to move the focuser to see a difference uh, in sharpness. Now I have found, this is not perfect yet, I have found that with large pixels, so if you have 9 micron or larger pixels, uh, it, it's funny uh, what we consider to be large pixels versus the professionals sometimes, uh, then you should try and double that amount uh, to make it, a little, uh, make it a little better. The automatic characterization is still in development. Uh, you can also kind of guess at what this uh, number is uh, by trying some different numbers, but I don't recommend trying that. So you have the same sort of controls you do in the regular sky, moving forward and backwards by particular step sizes uh, exposed by the focuser. You can also click on the focus position and it'll turn into an edit control. You can then cancel by clicking no or go, which will move to it. You can also just click anywhere outside and when the control loses focus, it'll, um, it'll go back. You can set the bend and the filter uh, and the exposure time. Uh, also, if your camera has some extended mode, you can uh, set those uh, like ISO for a DSLR or different uh, download speeds. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is take a, uh, take a sample exposure and see what things look like. Now when the image downloads, it's not going to pop up the normal SkyX Fits Viewer. Instead, it's going to display it right here in the At Focus 3 uh, control center. So we can see that we have some signal. As long as there's some signal, we have some stars, whether they're in focus or out of focus, we could actually go ahead and click autofocus and things will take off. However, let's take a look at some of the features for how we can tweak uh, how At Focus 3 is going to work. For starters, although At Focus 3 can focus on the entire frame, it'll be much faster if we select a subframe of interest. And so we can actually tell it to automatically find a subframe and it will search and find uh, the, the area in the frame with the highest amount of contrast. And we really don't want any saturated pixels, so you could tweak the exposure there a little bit and keep going down uh, shorter and shorter till the exposure was, sh um, was, a little, was underneath saturation. Notice it's red when it's saturated. Uh, but you can also pick your own uh, subframe. I should point out here too that the screen stretch is the new software BISC heuristic screen, set, screen stretch uh, which is also coming soon to the Sky X Pro, and it only has two adjustments, scale and highlights. Uh, it doesn't use uh, the traditional um, uh, white and black point like a, a linear uh, type of stretch does. Now the viewer window from the image, you can zoom in and out with these plus or minus buttons, uh, or actually the mouse um, wheel works, plus you can click and drag. Remember this window is designed for being used on uh, the iPad. We may let me change this up a little bit for the desktop. But what I'm doing here is finding an interesting area uh, that doesn't contain some saturated stars. And this is for people who want to kind of hand tune uh, where At Focus 3 is going to focus. And so just kind of zoom in on the area you want and you can select the button, set this, uh, set this view as the subframe, and it'll create a subframe around just the visible area. Now we can take some sample images uh, just of the subframe and we can adjust the exposure to taste uh, until we get uh, you know, the, the, the minimum brightness to be up a little bit. We want some, uh, some ADUs, you know, at least 10,000 to 20,000 ADUs uh, before we try, um, before we try to, to focus on this. Uh, so now we just, we'll start our very first Add Focus 3 run and during the run every time it takes an image it'll display a little graph and it'll show the progress uh, as, it, as, it, as it moves the focuser and takes each image. And you can see the image starts off pretty blurry. It does sort of a similar search uh, to Add Focus 2, except uh, it doesn't have a predefined range. It just simply moves the focuser and it looks to see if I'm getting in focus or getting better or worse. Uh, it'll change direction if it needs to. And when it gets enough samples around what it perceives to be the sharpest focus, It'll go ahead and do a curve fit. It'll move to the best focuser position, and then it will uh, take a final verification focus. 
Now remember, at focus 3 does not use full width half max of stars, it uses the sharpness measure. So this could be a star field or a planet or the moon, etc. However, on the verification image, it will attempt to compute the full width half max uh, of the, the average full width half max of the stars in the frame. And if it looks reasonable, it'll display it, and that can give you some uh, metric of what you're seeing is like uh, at, this, at the time of focus. Now, once you're in focus, you can actually get a measure of your current seeing by taking a sample. And at focus 3, we'll attempt to determine the full width half max if there are stars in the field and it'll display it. Remember, full width half max isn't used at all for focusing. Uh, it's all based on frequency content, and this frequency content is very resistant to seeing conditions. So you can have confidence that you are in focus, and whatever your full width half maximum uh, being displayed is likely uh, your atmospheric seeing, not really a measure of how good you are in focus. And focus 3 also takes into account backlash of your focuser automatically. Um, should have mentioned this perhaps earlier. Uh, if you have uh, backlash compensation built into your controller, you can go ahead and disable that. Uh, at Focus 3, we'll always back up and approach uh, both the samples and the final approach to the focus position uh, from the same direction. So that's it. That's at Focus 3 in a nutshell, sort of the turbo tour. Uh, there's much more to come, even a fully automated mode that's even easier to use. Uh, this is a great place to start. It's not in the uh, take series uh, tab yet, and of course it's not exposed to the scripting API because it's still in development. Uh, but I encourage you to play with this, try and focus with it, and if you have any problems, send me the uh, focuser log and the fits files, uh, and I'll take a look at it. So, thank you very much.